Hey, become sir, this is Mrs. Vando. I told you I'd be right back. I am not bringing you another uh, blank wall, but instead WSQ 17.9. Uh, so let's see here. I guess I'm gonna scroll this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it says look again at the chart on page 14. I don't think it's actually on page 14. I, I think I meant to say page one of your notes. Uh, what is significance when the delta G is at the lowest point? So if you are not looking in your notes page one, why don't you pause this and go look at your notes page one? Because that's what I'm going to reference, okay? So is everyone there? Okay, so I'm looking at the, the chart at the bottom of page 14 or page one. Uh, what is significance of when delta G is at the lowest point? So what does it say? It says, here we go, Q is equal to K. It's at equilibrium. Delta G, not delta G naught, delta G is equal to zero. So that's really important. Q equals K, you're at equilibrium, and delta G is equal to zero. Okay, so in the above question, what is Q equal to? I just said it, K. What is delta G equal to? Zero. Okay, now these next couple questions are really from chapter 14, aren't they? When K is less than one, remember how you figure out K, it's products over reactants. So if K is less than one, that means you have more reactants than products. So what's favored? The reactants are. I don't know why that's highlighted. There we go. When, um, so when K is less than one, what about delta G? Well, we said if delta G is negative, it's spontaneous in the forward direction, right? So if K is less than one, delta G is positive. All right, when K is less than one, is the forward reaction spontaneous? No, it favors the reverse. So what about when K is greater than one? The products are favored, delta G is negative, and the reaction is spontaneous, all right? But what if K is equal to one? Well, think about this. If K is equal to one, that really kind of means the products are, are equal to the reactants. Okay, think about that. And what's gonna happen then? Delta G is going to, excuse me, Delta G naught is also going to be zero. Okay, so that is one of the few times when Delta G naught is zero. That's kind of interesting, okay? So let's look at the next one. Oh, by the way, why is that? If you remember the equation that you learned in section 17.9, all right, about the relationship between uh, delta G and delta K, or sorry, and K, isn't delta G naught equal to negative RT ln of K? So you think about it, what's the natural log of one? Zero, okay, and that's really the why for that, okay? So if you have already watched the video, you should have already known that, okay? All right, sorry, I digressed. In the reaction, we have A is in equilibrium to B, and K is 100. Woo, that's a, a biggie, isn't it? So K is greater than one, so delta G is negative. Why? Because the products are favored. Um, delta G uh, is not gonna be zero. Uh, why, why is that? because K is not equal to one. So again, it's gonna be negative and the reaction is spontaneous in the Ford reaction. Um, let's see here, we didn't give you the temperature, so I really didn't know the difference between delta G and delta G naught. Maybe I need to fix that. All right, and what about this next one? If K is less than one and we are not at, this, at the uh, 25 degrees Celsius, so um, again, we need to do a little bit of calculation. So give me a second and I need to figure it out, don't I? All right, to do the last equation, you need the, um, or the last question, you need the equation delta G naught equals negative RT ln K. So I got equals negative 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin times 300 Kelvin uh, times natural log of 0 0.005. So I got delta G uh, naught is 13,215 joules. Uh, I probably need uh, maybe a couple sig figs. So how about um, 13 kilojoules, how is that? So that is hopefully what you got. And notice that when K is less than one, delta G naught was positive, 
okay? And that is consistent with what you should have gotten as well, and that means it is not spontaneous in the Ford reaction. It is not thermodynamically favorable. So hopefully that went well for you. Um, we will see you then on Monday. Don't forget to uh, study. So take care. Don't wait to be great. Bye-bye.